everybody and welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these delicious, scrumptious conchas. This one is strawberry and it's uh, strawberry flavor and I just dyed it pink. And this is pistachio and it's green. And I dyed that green, of course. And this is just plain vanilla. So if you want to learn how to make these, then do not go anywhere. Stay right here and I will show you how. So getting down to business and getting to our ingredients, we are going to start with our flour. Now this is all purpose flour. It's three cups and two fourths. So just what I do is get the measuring cup and just measure three cups and then get the one fourth cup and do one fourth twice. And then here we're gonna have half a teaspoon of salt, two thirds cup of sugar. Here we have half a cup plus one tablespoon of evaporated milk, one tablespoon and a half of active dry yeast. This is the one that I use three eggs, room temperature. Remember, these have to be at room temperature or it will not come out the way you want it. And then we have half a, half a cup, which is just one bar of unsalted butter at room temperature also. And our one tablespoon of vanilla. So these are all of our ingredients. This is starting with the concha one and then once we get started with the topping then i will show you how to do that so let's get started okay so what you're going to do first you're going to take your evaporated milk what i did was just put it into my microwave about 30 seconds just enough to get it warmed from 110 to 115. you don't want this um too hot but you want it at the right temperature so that the, the yeast will activate. So that's done. And then what you're gonna do, throw in your yeast. And you're gonna throw in one tablespoon from the sugar that the recipe calls for. The sugar helps it activate. So you don't wanna skip out on that. With a fork, you're gonna give it a stir just get that incorporated in there and then we're going to let this sit here from 10 to 15 minutes until the yeast is activated and then we will continue our next step now that our yeast has activated you could see right there if you did not get this result, you have to start over because either your yeast was expired or the water was too hot. You would have to start over. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our ingredients into our uh, mixer here. You can do this by hand also. So there goes, the yeast is in there. We're gonna add the eggs. We're gonna add the vanilla. Sugar. Salt. and our flour. You don't wanna use your dough hook for this. And starting on low, just so that the flour doesn't go all over the place, we're going to give this a mix. 
until it is well incorporated. Once you have, once you see that that's all incorporated, we're going to add our butter. And you wanna just add this in parts. So about one tablespoon at a time. And again, on low. Once the butter has all been incorporated in there, we are going to knead it in here for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes of kneading it here, we are going to remove it. Just give it another quick knead. Okay, and it's done. And then you're gonna get some olive oil or any kind of oil. And just Add it to your bowl. We're gonna add our dough in here, just like that. And then we're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and put it in a warm place. I'm in Arizona, so I'm just gonna put it outside and that way that it, it it uh, doubles faster, so it has to double its size. This will take between one to two hours, so be patient and just keep checking on it. So we'll see you back. While we are waiting for our dough to double its size, we're gonna go ahead and do the topping. So the topping, we need some flour. You can use butter. I prefer vegetable shortening, but you can definitely use butter and powdered sugar. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna add one cup of flour. I should probably get a bigger bowl. And one cup of powdered sugar. And give that a little stir together. And then we need about eight tablespoons of either butter or the vegetable. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So since the bowl is too small, what I'm gonna actually do is I'm just gonna turn it in on here and then I'll just knead it on here. It's okay. Okay. 
So all you wanna do is just bring it in together. Squish it together. And eventually it comes together. And if it feels too dry, like mine does, it shouldn't feel too, too, too dry. Just go ahead and add another bit of vegetable shortening or your butter. And it's pretty much already coming together. Let me clean all this up. Here is your topping. This is strictly going to be vanilla if you desire just to leave it vanilla. But I'm going to do half vanilla and half strawberry. So let me clean this up and I will be right back. So I got my two bowls. I got my pasta right here my paste and I'm going to cut it in half because of course like I said we're going to do vanilla and chocolate um, it looks about half right there so the vanilla we're going to just leave it in our bowl I'm going to cover it and then we're just going to wait until our dough is ready we can put that on there and then for this one we're gonna do strawberry now I like it to have the strawberry flavor so um, I'm going to use pink dye and then I'm going to use Nestle, Nestle quick strawberry so first um, you can do about two to three tablespoons of this so first I'm going to add that, the Nestle Quick. And then we're gonna add our dye on there. So this is adding the Nestle Quick is pretty much going to give it the strawberry flavor, not just, um, you know, the pink color. So you are going to get that flavor of the strawberry, which is really my kids love it. Okay, and then once you have it in there, we're going to add... Some pink food dye and we're gonna get this mixed in there it would be good if you wear gloves all we're doing here is getting this color all combined in here and if you have to add more just add more And now depending on, I did not have any gel color. So, and then this liquid one, 
just takes a little bit longer. And if you feel that because of the liquid one, since it's a little bit more watery, if you feel that it kind of uh, made your paste sticky, all you need to do is add a little bit of flour or more of the powdered sugar to it and it'll come together. looking good look <laughs> so I should have worn gloves but I forgot so there's your pink strawberry and there's your vanilla we're just gonna set these aside of course cover them and we're just going to wait for our dough so we'll see you in a few go ahead and start getting our pans our baking sheets prepped so what we want to do I get some vegetable oil vegetable shortening and then I just smother it on here you know if you wish you can use parchment paper too I just happen to like this way so each pan and then we're going to get some flour and just dust it in flour and I'm going to go to the sink because I need to tap on this so that all the flour distributes. And it should look like this. So mine doubled its size in one hour. And this because I had it outside. Um, like I said, I'm in Arizona and it's hot out there. So if you're going to put it inside, just put it in a warm place. Um, but it does take between one to two hours. So at this point, we are ready for the next step. So here we're going to put some flour and then you're going to punch your dough down, turn it over on your floured surface. And then here we're gonna divide it. Okay, and then I have a scale that I use just to get even balls. So I do use that scale. Now you're going to get as much conchas as you want actually because some people make them small, some people make them bigger. Um, so you could get between 8 to 12. I'm going to measure this in grams. So what I'm going to do... just eyeball it and see if maybe that's the size I want which I think that's the size that I'm wanting so the size of this is 94 grams so I'm going to do 94 grams to each ball Okay, so they all came out to 94 grams. Um, so that little piece, okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
So I got 11 out of this. So now what we're going to do, we're gonna get our baking tray here. And then I'm going to knead this on my hand first, just like this. So pretty much just putting it under your, um, like your finger under here, and then just trolling it. And then what I do on the bottom, I bring it in together and then I just pinch it like that. And then I just make a circle right there. You're gonna put it on your baking sheet and then you're gonna flatten it a little bit. Like that. And then just continue to do that with the rest. Now we are going to get our topping on here. So once you've done this, set that aside. We're gonna do the concha topping. So we're gonna put it on top. I got two plastics and let's get, let's do the pink one. Oh, you're gonna get your topping. I got some flour here and I'll show you why. Uh, you're gonna make it as big as you want it. So to cover it, I'm thinking about this big. And then what I like to do, because sometimes it does stick, I just like to roll it in flour a little bit. if this will cover it okay so I like to cover it all and now what I do is I just push it on the bottom so that it just sticks together and then when it bakes it's gonna all be covered Okay, so let me, that, that's what you're gonna do with all of them. Just make sure that you measure it out just right, that it fits, that all of it fits, and then put it on there. Um, so let me get done with this, and then I'm going to show you how I make the design. I've got the topping on here. Now, if you have the concha, um, the concha thing to do that, then by all means use it. I don't, I haven't gotten around to buying one, but this works just fine too, or a sharp knife. So what I do, just make any design that you want. Now you don't wanna go all the way in there either. Just something like that is fine. You can pretty much make any design that you want. And that's my design. So after this, we are going to, once again, we're gonna cover this. Well, you don't have to cover it if you don't want to, but I loosely cover it with plastic wrap and then I just put it in a cool, pla in a warm place. Um, so this time I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in my microwave and then this has to double its size one more time. Yes, one more time for about 40 minutes to one hour. So I'm going to do the same with the white um, on the other conchas, the same design and everything. So just cut yourself a piece as big as you think you need to cover the concha, of course. 
Okay, so cut you a piece as big as you think you need. And like I said, I like to just put this in flour because it tends to stick on me, I don't know why. But with the flour, it doesn't stick. And just put it on your concha. Press it on the sides, and that's it. That's how you're gonna do the vanilla ones also. And then you're gonna do the same design that you did, oops. Okay, so there it is again. Uh, and then you're gonna do the same design that you did like for the strawberry ones, same thing. So um, we're gonna let these double their size again for one hour. So I will see you then. So I got my pink strawberry one, I got my vanilla one. So say that you wanted to do a pistachio. Well, I simply just get some jello and this is the pistachio and I do the same process that I did with the strawberry nest quick. So we're gonna just add some of this and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the green dye to it. Uh, let me get some gloves on. So with your gloves on, I'm not gonna make the other mistake I did with the strawberry one. Um, then we're gonna just do the same thing like I said. And here is your green pistachio. About the last 20 minutes of the hour that you have to wait for these to um, double their size again, go ahead and preheat your oven, which I already did. So you can tell that they already doubled their size. So now we're gonna pop them into the oven between eight to 10 minutes, um, just until they puff up just a little bit more. So we'll see you in a little bit. I'm so excited. Okay, so I had said put it in the oven. Um, I don't know if I even said the temperature was 350. Preheat your oven and then you're gonna put these for eight minutes. So time it and then at eight minutes, you're gonna rotate it around and then do seven minutes with so a total of 15 minutes. But these babies are done. These are still hot because I just took them out of the oven. But here is these. And then here's the strawberry ones, the pink. Now, don't worry if your topping cracks um, or it doesn't come out right. You're not always gonna get it right. Like, I don't, and I've been making contrast for a long time. So, um, you know, just do your best, and what matters is that it tastes good, right? So now for the taste test. And I just wanna show you um, this one here. So this is the pistachio one. That is the pistachio, the green one. And I didn't put topping on here on purpose. So just so that you can see how fluffy that they get. So because of the topping, you can't really tell, but this is how fluffy your conchas should get. And now for the most important part of all this work. We're going to try one. Okay, so I am going to try the vanilla one. Oh, are you ready for this? Ah, it smells so good. Okay, bon appetit. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, let me show you. Fluffy. Mm, so, so, so good. This is gonna be the only one I have because my diet. 
Another bite. Mmm. Well, gotta go. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope that you make these conchas. They are super delicious. Super, super, super yummy. And we will see you in my next video. Bye.